Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning and welcome to the Valder BB Show or welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I have my next guest for you. I get to speak and present Dr. Ian Smith. Now, you know, he's the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Shred, The Revolutionary Diet. Today, though, he wants us to show a little love to some, you know, doctors and we're going to get some details from him. Dr. Smith, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Always great to be with you. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, you're an Emmy Award winning uh, syndicated uh, uh, talk show host. Uh, you co-hosted The Doctors, one of our favorites. Uh, you were with President Obama in that second term trying to get us as healthy as possible. So you come well qualified to talk about supporting doctors. What can you help us with? Well, I think that it's important for us to show our support for our frontline heroes. We need them more than ever. Um, Mucinex actually has started a great campaign called Ally of Doctors. And this campaign is about showing them that we love them, that we need them, uh, that we support them. Uh, and so we want patients basically to leave feedback for their doctors. You know, go to healthgrades.com and leave a feedback so your doctor can learn and can improve or to understand what they're doing well, what they're not doing so well. In the last 12 months, Val, there are only 16% of patients actually left feedback. And you know, you know, for doctors, it's important feedback. We, we can understand our strengths and our weaknesses uh, and make changes as necessary, but also, by the way, for other patients. Valder, just like we buy everything online, we read reviews first, same thing with your doctor. You know, you wanna make sure that the fit is right for you. So if people can review their doctors and show that support, that's amazing. You know, we're at home, Dr. Ian, we're stuck at home. <laughs> Let's talk about a little bit of what are some of the preventive measures that we can uh, take while we're at home to stay healthy? You talk about preventive measures, they are so critical during this time. We're in cold and flu season on top of being in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, so people really need to just really follow simple things like sneezing and coughing uh, into a tissue. If you don't have that, using the inside of your elbow, Washing your hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap can go a long way in getting rid of those germs as well. Using hand sanitizer if you don't have the water and soap um, you know, at your disposal. Also, by the way, understanding cold and flu symptoms, things like fever, cough, chest congestion, um, headache, uh, these things, sore throat, these things are very common with cold and flu. And Velder, unfortunately, we cannot cure uh, the common cold or flu but we can find some relief uh, from the symptoms um, using over-the-counter medications. Uh, Mucinex has something called Fast Max All-in-One, which is a multi-system uh, relief situation that for your worst cold and flu symptoms, that can be helpful. People need to understand, Valda, I say this on my show to doctors all the time, make sure you follow the pres prescribed doses that is there by the manufacturer, uh, because that's important. And if symptoms still persist, you know, don't give up. Call your local healthcare professional and let them know what's going on, particularly now in the middle of the pandemic. I'd like to get your personal and your professional view on what do you believe about wearing masks? This seems to be such a political thing and it seems to be such a simple thing, but what do you think? Belder, it is simple, number one, and it is apolitical. There are no politics around wearing a mask. This is all about making sure that we are protecting ourselves and protecting others. And simply wearing a mask has been shown to really prevent the um, spread of germs that lead to all the different problems that we can be experiencing. So I wanna encourage people, please wear your mask, by the way, not just over your mouth, but please wear also over your nose. The virus lives in the back of your nose uh, and we spread not just through our mouth, but through our nose. So mask wearing is simple. Uh, it's important and it has nothing to do with politics. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Ian, because my goal is to try and help educate my listening audience. They take the time to tune in and I want them to have the best information. And once again, ally of doctors, what do you want us to do and where do you want us to go? I want you to go to healthgrades.com. I want you to leave that, that, that review for your doctor. Mucinex is gonna donate $20 for every first review that you do to United Negro College Fund up to $20,000 to the end of 2020 to help foster and empower our next generation of frontline heroes. 
I love it. Information with a purpose and a cause, Dr. Ian Smith. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I look forward to great things from you. Thanks, Valder. Please be safe. Nice talking to you again. Happy holidays. You too. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.